This is Egypt's number one for hit music, 104.2, Nile FM. Now, Nile FM's Aware with Adam. Welcome, one and all, to yet another edition of Nile FM's Aware. With me tonight, a very special guest with an exceptionally special event. It's Love Kills Cancer. More details in seconds to come. Stick around. Egypt's number one. Hello and welcome to the show. It's uh, again, hope you're having a great weekend, first of all, of course. And uh, unfortunately for me, I'm still having a little bit of a cold, but uh, here to lighten the mood up just completely with uh, just an amazing event. Uh, Selma from uh, Narmer School, you're one of the alumni over there, and you guys are doing an, an amazing effort in, in this particular event. We're going to get to more details, but first, welcome on to the show. Thank you. Um, Selma. I have to start, I mean, you mentioned that the tagline for the event is Love Kills Cancer, so obviously it's cancer related, but before we get to the event, what it's all about, etc, etc, I want to ask, what sparked the idea of launching such an event? Why are you guys so dedicated to the cause? Okay, so this is really interesting because it's different. Uh, there was this teacher at our school and he taught basically everyone, it's not like he came um, somewhere, he taught everyone who graduated from Narmer and he got cancer suddenly, it came out of the blue and he had to leave one day and no one even like said bye or anything and then we found out after a while that he had a brain tumor too and he had skin cancer and his insurance ran out so a group of us started coming together and like collecting a bit of money from everyone and then we decided why not make it more special and we decided that the problem wasn't only with us but it's with lots of people don't know what cancer is all about and lots of people don't know how to prevent it so we decided that we'd have something not only would it raise funds of course for the cause but it would also raise awareness. Even the motto and the slogan of our event is show you care, be aware. That's an absolutely phenomenal thing. So, so basically, I mean, is this teacher uh, doing well now? Uh, do you have any idea of his whereabouts? Like, I, I, dare I ask even? Yeah, we know that the brain tumor was dealt with, but the skin cancer, he's still in the process. And as I said, his insurance, there are problems with the insurance. We check up on him all the time and it's his birthday in a couple of days actually. So we made him like a video and everything. And he doesn't know anything about the event. We're waiting and we're going to surprise him after we're done. Let's get straight to it. The event, what exactly is it about and how did you guys muster up the manpower and the resources to put something like this together? Okay, of course, everyone was very cooperative and um, we came together we started each person probably has like this talent or something so we came together and we put everything together there's like soccer tournament there's raffle there's games and there's this runathon where teachers and parents uh, can sponsor their kids to run around to raise funds for cancer the f the most important thing though is the awareness of course because we don't want it just to be like a fun thing and we just take the money no we want everyone to be aware and while I was looking up things as soon as I found out about the event there was so much about breast cancer and other types of cancer but surprisingly I didn't find anything about skin cancer and the skin cancer is one of the biggest types of cancer that there are many misconceptions to so I was reading all about it and I found out that lots of mistakes we made and lots of these misconceptions can if we knew better we could not of course prevent cancer but we could really limit it and all the people need is to be aware and to know some certain things about the, the skin cancer so let me get this straight the event is not only like you know fun packed activities including the soccer tournament that you mentioned as well as the raffle uh, also the runathon which actually want to talk to you about a little bit more about because I still don't understand how parents and teacher can sponsor kids but we'll get to that but it's also about raising awareness uh, in, like in about cancer in general but also skin cancer in specific walk me through that how does that exactly work okay so the kids uh, at school and other places they get this sign-up sheet and they choose sponsors sponsors can sponsor a kid for a uh, limit of I think three pounds a minute and they get to run around for as long as they want and every minute they run the person that sponsored them can pay them they can have up to 10 sponsors and if they have more than eight sponsors they get a free t-shirt and on the uh, leaflet itself it says that people have to come with with the sunblock and they have to have a cap on and they have to have lots of water so at the same time while they're having fun we have a bit of awareness Ah, very nice. And you're also teaching the kids how to lobby for themselves and kind of like, you know, market themselves yeah. to get the most sponsorship uh, out of the whole thing. So get the t-shirts. Very, very, very cool idea. You also mentioned something about the leaflets. 
but on a grander scheme, a lot of a lot of mention about the idea of spreading awareness. What are the key misconceptions that you've come across that so many of us are, are, are unaware of? Okay, basically when even me, whenever you hear, hear the word skin cancer, you start thinking of the sun and tan beds and stuff like that. So people um, around everywhere just say just avoid the sun and then you won't get skin cancer. But that's actually not true. Too little sun will give you like calcium, def calcium deficiency and you'd have lack of vitamin B. So you actually need some time in the sun. But it, what matters is what time you're at the sun and how long you stay there and if you're dehydrated or not. So people in Egypt or, or all around, they basically think that babies shouldn't be in the sun. They can wrap them around in foil and put them inside and they, they sit outside. But kids need sunlight. After three, the, one of the most important things that I read was the first 10 years of your life is when you, you're skin decides whether it would get cancer or not of course That's amazing it is. yeah what what are the other tips and tricks what are the other pieces of advice that you've come across through your research there are some things that are actually very easy just drinking a lot of water whenever because everyone has to stay in the sun for a little while so drinking a lot of a lot of water while you're in the sun just wearing a cap sunglasses they even make you look better so people just wear wear caps that don't do anything no just wear a brimmed cap that can cover your face and uh Sunscreen, of course. I know it's a misconception. Lots of people just think any sunscreen would do, but no, it has to be higher than SPF 30. That and you have to make sure that the sunscreen isn't expired, for example. I saw so many because people just have their sunscreen in Sahel in their chalet and use it year after year and no, actually using expired sunscreen will give you more problems than not using sunscreen at all. So God help me, that's the case in my family as well. By the way, does that work for shampoos as well? Because my mom is like shampoos she bought back from the 90s in, from the US and we're still using those. Is, is that cool or not? <laughs> I, I have no idea, but probably, yeah. <laughs> Anything expired, any, I guess. So basically, if I can summarize, A, it's hydration. Lots and lots of water when you're in the sun. Uh, try to wear a cap, maybe some sunglasses as well, and definitely sunscreen above SPF 30. None of this, like, you know, 12 and 10 SPF stuff. Definitely above 30. Those are just very simple things that you can do to prevent um, um, to prevent maybe having cancer, la qadrullah, as, as we say in Arabic, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, of course, it's coming to be that time of day where we have to wrap things up but it was such a pleasure having you here in the studio Salma uh, and it's just amazing initiative that you guys are launching um, spreading awareness about such an important and vital disease that is 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 like you know it's becoming a pandemic so to speak in the world today uh, which is cancer obviously spreading so much awareness through an amazing event that you guys are going to be holding um, that includes a lot of fun activities including a, a football tournament a raffle draw a run-a-thon and a talent show as well so much awareness that you're trying to spread but you also mentioned that you're going to be trying to spread uh, to to raise funds now my my key question here is where's the funds going to go Okay, so at the beginning we were looking at lots of cancer associations and chair not only cancer, also charity associations to like divide the funds or something. And now we're basically, people are contacting us, all the cancer associations, and we're going to decide together, like everyone in charge, what we're going to do about it. So we're, cho we're basically choosing one of the cancer associations in Egypt. So basically it's going to be a cancer association, but you just haven't figured out which one it's going to be yet. Yes, exactly. There you have it. Now, um, I guess before I, before I let you go, I have to, like, you know, ask you, if I if I want to attend, if I just want to come as a spectator, maybe I want to donate some money, maybe I want to sponsor one of the kids, or maybe I have a talent that I want to uh, showcase in the talent show, how do I get in touch with you guys, and when is this event taking place? The event's taking place on March the 1st. It's a Friday, and it's at Narmer American College in New Cairo. It starts at 11.30 and ends at, like, 6.30. And anyone can contact me on the group on Facebook called Love Kills Cancer. It's very easy to find. You can contact me. You'll find everything you need over there and you can book a table lots of people like small businesses and small young people still at school are booking tables so just we're even encouraging them to like raise money themselves you heard it right here so that's www.facebook.com slash love kills cancer you can contact Selma and uh, get all the information that you need as well as participate in this wonderful and lovely event Selma thank you so much for taking the time and coming here to speak with us on Aleph Aware uh, and for this wonderful event just 
Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> and uh, as I always mention, if you're one of these individuals working with the group, maybe it's not an NGO, maybe it's just an, a particular event, but whatever it is, if you're, what you're doing is designed to contribute and give back to the community and make this country a better place, I would love for you to contact me. I'd love to have you on the show. Just send me an email. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing. Aware at NileRadioProductions.net. Again, that's Aware at NileRadioProductions.net. I would love to have you here, right here on the show. But unfortunately, though, that's all the time that we have for tonight. And we got to wrap things up. And it's Nile FM's Aware, where it's all about giving back to the community.